Welcome back to Kim Daily TV. I am your host, Kim Daly. And today I want to talk to you about what to do when your business isn't working. <laughs> so if you're a franchise business owner and you feel stuck, you're doing everything you thought you were trained to do, but yet you're not getting the result. You're not living the life that you thought you signed up for then this is the video for you. So I'm going to give you three things to specifically do when you find yourself in that moment, and then three things to do to help move you to a new place. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Kim Daly. I'm a franchise consultant. And for the last two decades of my life, I have been helping people realize the dream of business ownership through franchising by matching opportunity to their background, interests, skills, finances, and life goals. So let's dive into the meat of this educational coaching video on three things to do when you're a business owner and you feel stuck, you're not living the life, you're not getting the result, you're frustrated, you're irritated, you're mad, you don't know what to do. The first thing I want you to do is take a big, deep breath. Fear, which lives in our body, makes us crazy. And when you are losing money in your business, which is the greatest fear you had, before you signed that franchise agreement, and now it's manifesting, your entire body is gonna be so tense. And when your body is tense, it's because your mind is tense. If you wanna change that, you have to slow yourself down and breathe. So practice some big, deep breaths. It's very, very important. If you want to change your reality, you have to change your mindset. On previous videos, have you heard me say that the success equation in a franchise is 20% the strategy that you paid for from your franchisor, plus 80% your mindset, how you think, how you talk, and how you act? If you haven't, you're hearing it now. That is the equation that I operate from. That is the equation that is going to help to set you free from believing that the business plan you paid for by that franchisor is the thing. It's part of your success, but there is so much more going on that's adding up to your success than what you paid for and that what you're gonna get from that franchisor. My entire platform for two decades of my life has been to set you free from needing anything specific from the franchisor in order to wake up and show up and live your best life. Now, I know you may be screaming at me right now thinking, Kim, but that's why I bought a franchise. No, you bought a franchise to get a proven business plan but you have to show up and execute on that plan to make it work for you. And I know it's really, really hard to wrap your arms around that, but keep leaning into the video because we're gonna get there. So the first thing I want you to do is slow down, take a deep breath, release some of the negative energy in your body, and start to ask yourself, what is really going wrong? <laughs> now you might go everything. Okay. Okay. So get out a piece of paper and I want you to write down with clarity what is going wrong because the tendency of our mind when things are going wrong, everything is going wrong. I'm the queen of this in my life. I can make one little molehill a huge mountain in a matter of moments. <laughs> I think a lot of women are like that. Laugh with me on that one. But so let's not be irrational here. Let's get clear and specific on what's not working. Okay, now what if I told you that the answer to the problem that you have is already inside of you? What if I told you that if you focused on one problem at a time and you sat with yourself for a few minutes every single day and you stopped the negative chatter in your mind and opened your ears to the calm energy, the answer would come to you. It's something that I've practiced and it is 100% accurate 
100% of the time. The answers to all of the problems that we have are already inside of us because all the energy that was ever created in the world was already created and it's all inside of you because you're a living human being. And so life is inside of you. We have to find it. We have put up walls and walls and walls that separate us from that which we really are, which is pure consciousness and love and abundance. So if you believe that all of the abundance that was out there was already here and it's inside of you, where would you go to find the answer to the problem that you have, which is really a surface level problem. I'm not belittling the problem, especially if you feel like you're running out of money. I understand how frustrating and devastating that can feel. You're not going to get to a productive solution by staying in that place. So the point of this video is for me to help you move from that place to a new place. I wanna shift your energy from the energy of the problem to the energy of the solution. The energy of the problem and the solution are on two different ends of a stick and you cannot get from the problem to the solution if you stay head down, focused and determined that you were owed something, you were supposed to get something, somebody else is supposed to do this for you, you cannot get to the abundant solution that already exists. So take a deep breath, Separate yourself from the problem, breathe, be calm, and listen. And whatever inspired thought comes to your mind, now work from that point. So that's going to be the first thing I'm going to ask you to do. Get clear with what the actual problem is and don't try to attack all of the problems at one time. I'm sure you may feel like there are multiple problems to your problem, but the reality is there's probably only one or two. It's your irrational fear-based mindset. I'm not judging, I'm just pointing it out. That is clouding your ability to see clearly. Now, remember, I've been where you are. I've been a business owner for 27 years. Don't you think that I've had moments where I've wondered how I'm gonna pay my mortgage? Of course I have. Like every single successful person in the world who runs a business has been where you are. It's not a fun place, but it's your first time, but it's not the first time that a business owner has ever found themselves here. So this is the way out of it. You can stay in your quagmire. You can stay in your negative mindset. You can keep looking for solutions that are out there and you will keep looking for them because you will not find them out there. This business ownership journey is nothing if it's not a personal development journey. So it's time for you to do what I'm asking you to do before the ship goes down and you have to declare bankruptcy or you have to close your doors and lose your dream. That doesn't have to happen. Get still, Write down what is the clear problem that I need to solve. Be still with yourself and listen for the solution. That's what I want you to do. Now, the second thing that I want you to do in order to get yourself some momentum, in order to put your mind in a powerful, empowered state, because that's the second thing that has to happen. You have to switch from a victim and feeling out of control to feeling in control. When you feel in control, you will be amazed at what you can produce. So what I want you to do is I want you to immerse your mind into good books that will train you and your mind on how to think. This is what I've done. This is what makes me one of the top franchise consultants in the United States today. It's not because of anything other than my pure desire to get better at what I do, to be able to serve more people. When you serve more people, you make more money. The reason you are stuck is because you're looking for somebody else to do what only you can do for yourself because you haven't figured out how to serve people in the amount that's going to then return the money to you that you are looking for. You're looking to get before you figure out how to give. So if you want to switch your mindset, I have some incredibly powerful books. These are the books 
other than the Bible that I use on a daily basis. And I am not joking. I am not the person who's over here just, you know, making videos, acting like I'm some expert. This is how I live my life every single day. There are people that do what I do who think what I do is magic. It's not magic. <laughs> It's actually science. <laughs> and this is how I do it. So this is my stack of books. There's no, there's no end or beginning to this. You too can be prosperous. Now these are brand new books. I buy them because I audible all of my books. I literally put the thoughts right into my ears. I do it usually when I'm at the gym, passing the time on the treadmill or the bike, or when I'm lifting weights, empowering my body, but I'm mostly empowering my mind. And also on that note, you'll be amazed at what an amazing workout you'll have when your mind starts getting wrapped around pure truth. The truth in these books will resonate with your heart. And when that catches fire, it is like a fire. People always say to me, Kim, you're so passionate about what you do. Well, I'm passionate because I believe in it. Franchising didn't change my life. Franchising gave me a vehicle that allowed me to become the person that I am today. I and the reason I have the life today that I have. And I'm trying to empower you to believe that you are the person who can have, be, and do anything that you imagine. The franchise gives you some structure, but the mindset that you carry into that franchise is what is gonna drive you to the destiny of your imagination. So these are the books. You Too Can Be Prosperous by Robert Russell. The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Waddles. This is the book that inspired Rhonda Byrne to make the movie The Secret and write the book The Secret. This is a powerful book. Any of these books on their own will 100% change your life. The book, Magic Words, I interviewed the author, Genevieve Davis, that's her pen name. I interviewed Sasha Stevens on my podcast, Create Wealth Through Franchise. You can go to my podcast and you can hear that interview. That was a dream come true moment for Kim Daly because I lived in this book for months. That's what I do when I find a book that for me is the truth that inspires my mind to think differently so I can become a different human. I audible that book over and over and over. It is a tool. It is not a book that is a one and done. You can't learn something new if you listen to the book once. Repetition is the mother of skill. Repetition is what changes your mindset. Repetition is what changes your beliefs. So right now you may have a belief that the system you have is flawed, but what if you could change that belief by changing your mindset. When you change your mindset because you change your belief in yourself and what you're capable of, you're gonna go back and you're gonna see something different in that business plan that was probably there all along, but you weren't on the frequency to see it. So I'm asking you to empower yourself to own this moment and by owning the moment when you go back to that business plan, you're gonna see things that were always there, but that you weren't able to see. Because life is all about frequency. It's all about energy. If you wanna be on the radio station 100.3, you can't be tuned to 98.6. The business plan is at 100.3, but your mindset is tuned to 98.6. You can't see what's there. Whose fault is that? Is that the franchisor's fault? No. Is it your fault? No, it's nobody's fault. This is a growth journey. You have to be inspired to go on the journey, to learn what you need to learn so that when you go back to this business plan, you are on the frequency of success and you're gonna match that business plan. These are the books, these are the tools. Here's the giant of all of them, Napoleon Rich, Think and Grow Rich. Now, Bob Proctor, who you may or may not know from The Secret, but he runs the Proctor Gallagher Institute. He passed away, sadly. He's a giant in the personal development industry. And he, in his 92 years of life, said that he read this book at the age of 26 when he got his first copy. He read this book every single day or a portion of this book. He also is a big lover of Earl Nightingale, who, you know, that book is coming in my pile. Actually, it's next. The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale. 
This is the book that started it all for me. The first time I heard this book, it was an absolute life-changing day for Kim Daly. And I said to myself, I was smart enough to know that if I listened to this on repeat, this book would change my life. And I listened to it and listened to it and listened to it. I even paid my kids to read this book. And then I set a timer. So on the first day of the month, for two years, my alarm would go off, remind myself to get back into the strangest secret. I would donate my bike ride that day at the gym to the 25 minute audible. It's free on YouTube. That is this book, The Strangest Secret, because you forget. You forget the principles of success. We get busy, we get stuck in the negativity, but if you set a timer and you come back for your daily reminder of who you're supposed to be, if you want to be a person of success, then little by little, repetition by repetition, you will not fall too far from the path, right? I heard it said, actually from Bob Proctor, because I'm in the middle of one of his courses um, on paradigm shifts, and he said that a rocket is off track the entire time to the moon. The way that the rocket gets to the moon is it fails and auto corrects itself, right? So it's always off course, auto correcting. Going off course, auto correcting. Well, who are we as humans to think that we can succeed all the way to our multi million dollar businesses? Like, give me a break. You're gonna fail forward and then you're gonna course correct, right? You're gonna learn more when it's not going right. So the moment that you're in right now is nothing more than an opportunity for you to find the greatest opportunity by digging deep within yourself. And that's what I'm trying to inspire you to do. These are the books, Think and Grow Rich, The Strangest Secret, Happier Than God. Have you ever heard of this book, Happier Than God by Neil Donald Walsh? This is a good one. How about this one? Putting the prosperity idea to work. This is a, a workbook from another book. I think that I've already shown you. Yes, called You Too Can Be Prosperous. This is the workbook that goes with the book. So these are the books that I live in every single day. I mean, you don't need much more. If you have these books, I mean, your life is going to change. Now, very, very soon, Kim Daly is going to be launching an academy for top performance for franchisees where I'm gonna be teaching from these books because I feel so compelled to help you say yes to the life that you are dying to say yes to. What if I told you that the only thing that stands between you and your dreams is you? It's not your franchisor. It's not the economy. It's nothing outside of you. It's you. This is my soapbox. I'm sorry to get a little preachy, but it's very, very important that you take ownership. And the most amazing thing is if your business was massively successful, you would be owning it all. <laughs> so when it's not successful, can I ask you to also own it all? And if you can own it when it's not successful, and you can figure out how to course correct by videos like this, by books like these, by doing the internal work, by getting still and listening to the voice that inspires you to the solution, you are going to gain confidence in yourself. And I'm telling you, what you're really after in this business ownership journey is that confidence. Because when you have that confidence, there is not a problem in the world that you won't know how to solve because you know how to use the laws of the universe that are there to help you, to help us solve these problems. This is what they're there for. We just weren't taught like this in school. We weren't taught how to think in school. Even if you go get a psychology degree, they don't teach you about what I'm teaching you about, what Bob Proctor is gonna teach you about, what any of these authors, Earl Nightingale, Napoleon Hill, the greatest thinkers in the personal development industry of our time. Nobody's teaching this. I wanna teach it to franchisees because this is what changed my life. This is what will change your life so fast. Okay, so that's the second thing. The first thing is get still and get clear and find the answer in the still small voice. It's going to take time. There's so much noise in your head, it's not going to come easy. But if you practice every day getting still and shutting out your active mind and listening 
you will get better and you will start to trust that voice that you're hearing that that is the truth. And then you're going to immerse your mind in books that help you to learn how to think and to use the laws of the universe like the law of gravity. There are laws that govern how success comes. So we're not taught these laws in schools. Not yet. Kim's going to start a school and I'm going to teach you. I'm teaching you right now. And the coolest thing is, like the law of gravity, you don't have to even know how the law of gravity works to know that it's working on you. You can drop a penny and watch it fall. Why does it fall every single time? Because it's by law. Well, success is also by law. So what if you could understand the laws and you could work with the laws instead of against the laws? This is what these books are about. It is what I'm teaching you from. So that's the second thing that I want you to do to feel unstuck. And then the third thing that you can absolutely do is you can hire a business coach. Now, some franchisors have business coaches built in, but sometimes you're tired of hearing it from those people because if they keep saying it to you the same way, and again, you're on a different frequency than they're on, they're saying what probably will work, but if you're not on the frequency to hear it, you're not going to hear it. So sometimes you need to go invest the money in an outside business coach coach who you can hear it from. Do careful due diligence to find a coach that you resonate with, okay? And when you find somebody who resonates with you, then you can work with that co coach and no doubt the coach is going to have you do some of the things I'm already teaching you to do, to read great books that inspire your mind, to get clear and specific on your goals, to get clear and specific on what you believe is not working in your business so that we can tackle the things that you think are not working by flipping them and showing how we get successful in those things. Sometimes it's learning new skill. Sometimes it's letting go of old beliefs and mindsets that are actually not serving us, that we don't even recognize are holding us back. But a really good coach should be able to empower you and help you where you are and move you incrementally where you want to go. But the thing is, don't wait until the ship is already going down in order to hire the coach to do some of these things. Because sometimes you don't even have the thousand dollars a month or whatever it is to pay the coach. But at that point, I would argue, how do you not have the money to pay the coach, right? Investing another one, two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 into saving your business when you've already invested hundreds of thousands, it's nothing and it will help you. A good business coach will help you see what you can't see. Just like a good coach when you're playing a sport, they have a different view of the game than you do. And that's why they're able to assist in guiding you to success. So those are the three things that I would ask you to do. If you feel stuck in your business right now, I want to empower you to own this moment, to see it as an opportunity to get better not to see it as I'm failing, I was screwed over by somebody and there's no way out of this. There is a way out. Now, the three things that I'm gonna ask you not to do while you're doing the three things I've asked you to do are number one, and this is the most important one, stop complaining. Stop talking about what's going wrong in your business. Because life is energy and we attract what we think about, the more you think about the problem, the more you create the problem. The universe is a mirror of our thoughts. So if you're saying, oh my God, I'm not getting something. Oh my God, this is so hard. The universe says, okay, she wants more of what's hard. Stop talking about it. Start talking about the business of your dreams. Start talking about your mission statement. Start talking affirmations that empower you, that inspire you. Start talking yourself into the business and the life of your dreams rather than wasting any more time complaining and talking about what you're not getting and what's not going right. This one thing has the most amazing power to change everything in your life. When Zig Ziglar said our attitude is our altitude, let me tell you, when I tell my story about how I went from an average performing consultant for eight years to a history making franchisee in my ninth year of business, right? There were certain actions that I took. Was it the action that actually made me a history maker? 
I don't think so. What actually happened because I took the action was I became confident. And in my confidence, I developed passion. And in that passion, I came to work every day to play and have fun. And when I was playing and I was having fun, I was infectious. Everybody wanted what I had. And I was the reason that I went from average performing to history making in the middle of a recession. It was my attitude that changed everything. So this one thing I'm asking you to do while I'm giving you tools that will help you move from an unstuck place is the most important thing you have to stop doing right now. Stop complaining. When the negative thoughts come and they will come until you train yourself to shush them away, immediately become aware and stop yourself. It will be hard at first, but the more you do it, like creating any other habit, going to the gym, eating better food, the more you do it, the easier it will become to where people will say to you, you are so positive all the time. Do you ever say anything negative? And you will laugh and you will remember this video and you will give Kim Daly a little pat on the shoulder. This has the potential to not just change your business, but 100% change every relationship in your life, everything that you don't like about your body. If you stop thinking negative things and talking negatively about your body, it has the most impact on every single thing. And you know why? I'm gonna go back to my little favorite book, The Strangest Secret, because our thoughts are powerful things. The world is created through our thoughts because our thoughts drive our words, which drive our behaviors, which are our actions. And we will reap that which we have sown. That's all in this tiny little book, a free audible on YouTube for 25 minutes of your time. It can change your life. The second thing I need you to do while you're doing all the good things to get unstuck is stop blaming your franchisor. This kind of has to go along with number one, an attitude adjustment, but stop blaming the franchisor. Has that gotten you anywhere good? <laughs> Have they changed their behavior by listening to you complain about what you were owed, what you thought you were getting? Is it changed anything? No. So just stop. Albert Einstein said insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So. If that way hasn't worked for you, stop. Now, you don't have to believe a word of what I'm saying, but my way is working for me. I am successful. I am high performing. I am happy. I am passionate about the businesses that I run because I use these laws, because I've done the inner work and it works. So you don't even have to believe that what I'm saying is true about frequency and energy and oh Kim, I gotta meditate. You don't have to believe it. But if your way isn't working and my way is working, I just wanna challenge you or inspire you. Just try it. What have you got to lose? You have nothing to lose if your way isn't working and you have everything to gain if it does work. And the third thing that I'm going to ask you not to do while we're trying to get unstuck is probably the most obvious, but it's to do nothing. Like sometimes when we're in survival mode, we get in that fetal position and we just look like the deer in headlights. I have really big eyes, so I can make my eyes really big. <laughs> you do not want to be the deer in headlights. You do not want to be closed off. You do not want to be so scared that you can't take a step forward. That is not going to be the way out of this mess. You have to empower yourself. Recognize fear for what it is. It's a survival instinct, but does it serve you to be afraid right now? There is nothing to be afraid of. Those are just thoughts that you are making true. What if today you could adopt a new thought that you are powerful, that you are capable, that you have everything you need to be the person that you want to be, to be successful, to make a million dollars or $10 million. It's already inside of you. The only thing that separates you now from the person that you are dreaming about are all of the walls that you've put up. We all put them up. I'm not pointing the finger at you. We all put up the walls from the time we are children. We are hurt. 
We shrink back. We try something and it doesn't work. We shrink back. We're told we're not supposed to. We shrink back. We, the world tells us money doesn't grow on trees. We shrink back. We develop beliefs that don't even serve us. And where did they even come from? So, so many of the things that we believe are the things that have created walls that separate us from our own abundance, from what I will call our heaven on earth. So all I'm asking you to do is try day by day to let the walls down, let the walls down, open yourself to the possibility Believe that you are a person of influence. You have everything you need to live the life that you want. The very reason that you want, that you have desire in you means that what you're desiring is desiring you. You are already on the wavelength of that. But the minute you complain, the minute you doubt, the minute you feel fear, you have separated yourself from that desire. So all I'm asking you to do is stop doing the things that we do as humans to block us from our goodness. The abundance is already there for you. Let the fear go. Don't sit and do nothing about it. Do the things I'm inspiring you to do in this video. If you think from lack, you get lack. If you think from abundance, you get abundance. So think from the business owner who has everything that you are dreaming of. How does that person walk into the room? How do they dress? How do they feel in their nervous system? How do they greet their team? How do they treat their family? Where do they go on vacation? What kind of house does that person live in? What kind of car does that person drive? Think from that place. And when you think from that place, you are putting yourself at that frequency. And if that's 100.3, and right now you're at 98.6, if you hold that 100.3 frequency steady, this is your heaven on earth, this is your abundance, then by law, the only thing that can happen if you keep moving forward toward that frequency is you will bump into it and one day you're going to wake up and you're going to be living what was once only the dream. The tagline to Kim Daily TV is the best dreams are those we live. That tagline came to me because YouTube is the greatest dream I've ever dreamed and I'm living it. Here I am. You're watching this video to the end. I'm living the dream. I want you to live your dreams. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I hope that you will take this advice and you will use it to change your business, to change your life and to change the lives of all of the people around you because that is the very greatest definition of success. God bless you and I'll see you in the next one.